Hey guys, it's Carrie the Paper Monkey. I'm coming to you today. Um, just real quick, not, not going to be a long video, but I'm coming to see if you guys have any organization suggestions. And if you do, please leave them in the comments below. I would love to hear how you organize different things. The one, one of the things that I'm definitely concentrating on is fabric. I had a box, Rubbermaid box full of fabric, and this is only part of it. I've already started kind of organizing it, and I'll, I'll share how I'm going to, my thoughts right now on how I'm going to do that. But this is, again, only part of the material that I have. I have spent the afternoon, my husband actually helped me. He helped me cut out pieces of cardboard, all the same size, and I've wrapped it and pinned my pieces of material to it. Now, I have my inside walls, my interior walls of my shed are not finished. So I have just studs in my walls, as you can see here, okay? Don't judge, excuse the mess. I told you I'm got, I am gotta spend the time organizing. But my thought is this weekend, my husband's going to put some extra shelves on the other wall for me, and I'm going to uh, slide my material in like little books. And, you know, of course, I want them to be color. I, I don't know if I'll do it by color or how I'll do them, but it will be something that's visually pleasing to me because my issue right now is I've become overwhelmed with clutter. Um, you know, I... I in my other videos, I've told you guys that junk journaling has really taught me to not be so uptight. However, I my personality is still one that I have to have some semblance of order. I, I have to have some semblance of order, and if it's stuck in a box or a drawer, I forget it's there and I won't use it. And I, I don't, I think that's wasteful. I don't want to be wasteful. I want to use the materials that I have, you know. Um, and if I don't use them, I want to donate them or I want to give them away in happy mail. You know, I, I just don't believe in, or I, I try not to be a hoarder. I, I try not to be a hoarder. Um, I, I, I think, yes, there are certain things that you want to hang on to for different reasons. But for me, I just, I, I don't, I don't want to be wasteful, right? So that's one thing. If you have any other suggestions or supplies or anything that you've used that works for your organizational style, please share them with me because I'm so new to this. I, I just, I, I'm just like um, soaking it all in. Um, the other thing that I want to look at is washi tape. Now, in my other video, I explained to you that, or I, I, I mentioned that I didn't know what washi was. I don't know where washi's been my whole life, but when I tell you I am now obsessed with washi, this is just a fraction of the washi that I currently have. This is just a fraction. And this is how I was storing it. Uh, I don't know where I got this from. It came out of my closet. I, it had belts on it, and I wasn't using it for belts anymore. Or I had a few belts on it, so I said, oh, that would be good for washi. So anyway, I took and this is how I'm currently storing some of my washing. Well, I found this, some type of office supply thing at the Goodwill. And it was a buck and I said, okay, for a dollar, I'm gonna try it because I think it may be a good organizational tool for washing. And it looks like it might be. So again, I'm gonna hang it up on the wall so I'll have this visual. And here at the bottom, I don't know if you can see that, I think I can also put another dowel, and I have some dowels um, that can run along the bottom so I can put even another, another thing of washi. So those are two of the things that I'm gonna be working on. The other thing that I, I'd like to know from you guys is I have all these We Are Memory Keepers tools. I love my, my We Are Memory Keepers tools. How do you just lay yours on the counter or how is there a way because I would love to be able to hang them but I don't want them to fall and there doesn't appear to be 
a place for me to like hook them onto anything. So anyway, if you guys have any suggestions for that, I, like I know my big chomper I could hang, but the other ones, the other handhelds, the other three that I have, I, I don't see a way. But anyway, if you have any suggestions for that, that would be awesome. So, welcome to my mess, um, and I'm sorry if that's visually disturbing for you guys. It is for me, and I'm hoping that, like I said, by the end of this weekend, well, I'm actually hoping by tomorrow, I can have everything uh, organized because I'm going to work part of this this evening on getting some of the, at least getting my material ready to put on the shelf. And, um, and then my other area that I would love to be able to organize, this kind of works, kind of works, is my um, ribbon, my ribbons and my trims. So I have this back here that's one of those bundles that you get at Hobby Lobby, and I like the color so much I bought two of them. Okay, got another one. But um, I saw Gail Augustinelli I just watched one of her older videos. It was a craft room tour. And she had this huge just bundle. And it was just a bundle of all these different trims hanging from the wall as like decor. And it was beautiful. And I thought, oh, I could take these and do that with that. I think that'd be lovely. But these are my other, oops see everything's falling out sorry guys um i could take some of these and organize them better because i don't i'm bad about not putting them back the way they were like i'll get them all organized and color coded and they'll be all nice and neat and then i'm going to craft and i'm like the tasmanian devil and then i just whirly whirly dervish everything and I, then i don't put it back like it's supposed to be i'm bad bad i know but um so yeah anyway if there's something like another organization maybe I've, I've looked and um they have some neat things out there but i just you know i don't know it just nothing struck me yet so if you have any suggestions please feel free to share in the comments and i would appreciate that anyway i hope whatever it is you guys do this weekend that it brings you peace, contentment, and joy because actually, even though this is work, this will make me happy. Um, and that's what it's about, right, guys? So go and have a great weekend, and I'll be looking forward to some conversation with you guys. Thanks, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.